But if there's anything in this region that can be described as Scottish, then I would move out fast. Alright, what can I do here? I would like to marry Hisweni so I can guarantee myself a relationship with them soon. Dali would probably be also a good idea to ally myself with. But I just don't have all the uh, agents for what I want to do here. Dun, dun, dun. This is such a good song. What is the Animal Kingdom achievement, Jake? Can't find it on the achievement list. It is right here. Animal Kingdom, as Manipur, unite the Bengal region. Convert it to animism. I like this achievement because it's not hyper-blobbing. Also, get blown away. Combined forces of Nepal and Nepal cannot take down the Bhutanese separatists. Jigmi Dragpa Punisho puts them in their place. Oh, that was beautiful. And then Guja comes along to ruin everything. Okay, so maybe the spy network isn't the most important thing in the world, but it's important to me. I don't think the DDR is going to happen today. It's wearing on late, but at least people are getting plenty of uh, EU4 like they've been asking me for for quite some time, I must say. What? They sent them packing as well? Bhutan. As they say in France, never a two without a three. Oh, he's a defensive planner as well. This guy's not going to budge. Okay. Koch took them down. I'm disgusted. You were about to tell us an exploit, Jake, regarding AI breaking royal marriage. Oh yeah, the AI I don't think pays the stab cost for breaking royal marriage because uh, a strategy used to be ally Ming, no sorry, royal marry Ming, insult them, they break, then uh, royal marriage Ming, and then like set their land as vital interest and they break, and then because they go negative stability they lose their mandate of heaven, blah blah blah, they die. Blah blah blah, horde strong. Max says, with all the viewers around, it's time to shill for more Prime bucks, Jake. That's not a bad point. If you have an Amazon Prime account... Oh man, this, this burns me inside for selling out this way, but it's true. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you get a free Twitch subscription. I'm not saying to use it here, but use it here. If I get 14 more, then I'll be able to get more emotes to ban people for using. And I know we all want that. Alright, this is pretty sweet. We're probably drowning in inflation. Yeah, unsurprising, because we're enjoying the uh, 0 0.1 ducats we're getting out of the gold mine of Mong Kwang. But now I get to make my pizza, and I'm thinking, maybe I shouldn't take all of Assam. But if I don't, then I'm just really inviting trouble for myself later. I don't know, not, not easy choices to be made here. I should get my double royal marriages first, though, that seems clever. That's about as good as you're worth being, so... I mean, worst case scenario, they can break them if they really hate me. I'm nowhere near that alliance. I am... very near that alliance. We're gonna get rid of the minus 20 and the minus 1000, so I can get my alliance with the Sweni once this is done. They are sadly one of Dali's enemies, so Dali and I are gonna come to blows, I can feel it. But uh, China is ripe for the taking, and I never imagined it would break up like this. I also don't know Shangsheng. So, Assam. If I take both of you, lots of people get very angry. But I get the feeling it's what I should be doing. I mean, letting you live is just going to make you hurt me later on. I'm going to offend as I think about it. Yeah, I'll offend... Um... Okay, no, it's good though. You will offend... Bengalese um, Hindus. And taking this will offend the Theravadan... This isn't culture. Alright, Assam. Get inside me. Don't know why I'm hesitating on this pushing button. It's probably because greed has killed me every time something has killed me, but... Alright. In they go. How does that affect AE here? Ah, not with anyone that matters. And you. And I really want to eat you right up. Uh, Koch, Nepal, these are concerns. 
Maybe I should sit on you for a while and improve relations with these people. Orissa, Tirhut, Jarkand, Nepal. All good points. Hell yes, feudalism for 16 ducats. Yes! I feel good! Oh, I'm so happy about that, you have no idea. It's going to take forever and a day to convert unless I get some helping hands, and I think I'll get some helping hands. Nonetheless, I should... Uh, it's going to take forever, but core it anyway. I'll just have to murk up and destroy the rebels. Potential rebel sizes are... manageable. <laughs> Why have one dose of uh, Asami's rebels when you can have two? I don't want you converting everything to Hindu, you monster. If I was going to give you anything, I'd give you Bengal land. I should just integrate you soon enough, but hey-ho. Cheers, Jake Loans. Jake, accept Assamese culture for faster conversion. But it's not a culture. Look at it. It's a sorry state of affairs. Probably a good idea, but I don't like it. Okay, starting to think that this is a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyway because it's important to me. I do not want Orissa coalitioning me. I absolutely do not want Nepal coalitioning me. So let's get them out of our faces. Might take a wee while. When did I start this war anyway? 53, we got time. 16 ducats was 15 more than you needed to pay. Should have waited for it to spread. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I quite like being able to get military tech 4, diplo tech 4. And admin tech, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you enjoy those Assamese separatists, Koch. It's your problem now. Oh, James, it really is a problem. It's all these defensive uh, rebel generals. Oh, they better not come over here. That should have bulked up my force limit, so I can enjoy having 8,000. It's rather nice. Who do you have as possible advisors, Jake? Well, I was thinking about getting the half-price guy. That's too expensive. I mean, I barely... Uh, I barely break even here. I mean, that would change if I just didn't pay my units, and then I could afford an advisor. It's still tempting to go and get that Inquisitor. He is really good, after all. And I could pull you from Tripura, for example. Autonomy isn't that high. Probably be better to put you up there. But uh, that would decrease loyalty quite a bit, and it wouldn't affect influence. Okay, not affecting influence. That's good to know, actually. Jake, maybe ally Yi. Nay. Ha. Huh. Utsang separatists. Utsang know that they will rise again. Leave your army in Assamese land to revolt, lower revolt risk. This is a good point. I thought you were going to say move it here to loot, which would also be a good point. But it seems like Kashar want to do that. I'll be annexing it, so looting might not work in my favour right now. Thing is, we don't reduce unrest much because I'm barely paying my units, but we do reduce it by a tiny amount. Jack, here's to the Blob Ross of World Conquest. Cheers, Brother Chaos. Ah. Well, I mean, when you manage Animal Kingdom on your first try, it's only to be expected. And I don't think I've restarted any campaign as much as I have this. Even the Ryukyu attempts were, uh, they numbered two. And when I did it in EU3, it numbered one. Ah, well. Joy of Map Painting was great. Joy of Map Painting was, uh, it seems to have gained a cult audience. I was pretty happy with how it came out. I'm not usually fond of role-playing like that on stream, but it was fun. And I was on a real Bob Ross bender. Right, who wouldn't be? That better not be conversion, I see. Ah, I don't like you. Okay, at least these lands would be easy to convert, and I do have plus one stability, so I don't have to worry about that going <coughs> too far down too quickly. Nice. But I'm still claiming Bhutan as my own. 
Hopefully someday you see the light and give it up. I need to get people to like me. Orissa is one of them, yes. Who else was it? Orissa. Tirhut I don't really care about. Koch I care a little about, but that aggressive expansion is too much. Sidia won't exist. So Jarkand and Tirhut. Jarkand is a little more worry aboutable. So sure. <clears throat> Jake, you were actually planning before doing Ryuku. That's true, this had no planning. I don't have time to plan anymore. I do so much work and so much streaming that uh, from where comes the spare time, I do not know. Okay, we are not making uh, any inflation on this gold mine anymore. It's tempting to pay it down, reduce it. I mean, what you just do is throw away the dip points and forget about them. So many royal marriages. Tesweni, Bengal, and Dali, all in an attempt to save my life. Nepal is lovely, and they would make a great subject. A better subject than Bhutan in all ways but one. I like Bhutan. Bhutan should have all of this. Queen of the people, you say? It's become clear to us that Queen Hira is a woman with a heart of gold. Well, she is not deserving of 90 freaking ducats. We have more important matters. Alright, I'll take it. There's no real need for us to wait around here, though. Although, how much aggressive expansion was this going to give me with uh, Orissa? That's quite important. It surely wasn't going to give more than 40 odd, so we can probably comfortably keep it at this level. And then go and get the likes of Tirhut and improve relations there. As long as I keep it uh, high enough, they won't be joining no coalitions. Keep it positive and they won't join coalitions at all. Because, yeah, that would be one way to go. It's like, yeah, yeah, I survived. Oh, no, coalition against Manipur. Please, no. I'd like to know, is it Manipur or Manipur? Like, purity. Also, that isn't good. I do not want to raise autonomy, not one bit. But, I get the feeling that these rebels are going to knock my socks off. Think you'd still attach to me there, Kashar? I've told you to play to your own devices, but now I actually want you to stick to me. And I think I want an extra unit over there. Potentially cavalry, but cavalry's expensive, hombre. That's good. Having you nearby makes me feel safe. No, no, I needed you uh, very specifically on me. Oh. I should be paying my units. This is going to be very embarrassing, isn't it? Whew, survived. Alright, I need to hold out for a couple of months. It's unlikely, but... Ah, it seems to be happening. Still, though, you could come and help me, Kashar. That would be nice. At least we get back up to maintenance. Probably should have an extra unit there, or else this is going to be more costly. Maybe a mercenary? I don't know, mercenaries are scum and cost lots of money. There we go, that's the money shot. Scared of these guys. I could let them take a psalm and come strolling into me so that they have jungle to deal with. Or I could not have to deal with extra separatism. How am I feeling? Uh, I don't like either way of this. Hang on, there's 15 days before they make that. I should hold out and make sure I get there in the next month. Two more. Hold on, is that going to cut the anything? I think they're going to take it though.
That's in 11 days, though. Oh well, they get it. Come and save me, Kashar. Save me from myself. Yeah. Like I needed more separatism. Oh well, come and get it. Alright, nice. Good relations with Nepal. Hopefully good enough to keep them out of this. <clears throat> no, oddly enough, not. <clears throat> Those 39... Um, it's minus 39 relations with them. Which is going to hurt. Unless I send them a lovely gift. It would well and truly be a bribe. But it might be for the better. Just to make sure they stay out of the coalition. 25 ducats to keep them out of a coalition. That is utterly worth it. Oh, it was 39, actually. Yeah, that would keep them out of my face, though. It's pronounced money poor. <laughs> you can't be serious. Okay. That'll keep you out. What about the others? City, I don't have to worry about. Tirhut, I'm actually surprised. They will get involved here. I guess they really don't like us, but I'm still trying to improve relations with them. 23... 51... 32... Okay, I just need to improve relations with them a little bit more and everything will be okay. But I will gift Nepal out of my face. Alright, lovely. <clears throat> But there's no river crossing between here and Assam. It's a shame. Not that I could prevent them. They have more maneuver. Man, we crush these rebels. Hmm. Let them reinforce or just keep below. No, I'll keep it at that. Tear hut still very technically going to be in that coalition until one more month passes. I'm going to gift up Nepal in advance. Bengal, Koch, and Ava, but not Nepal. That's really good, though. I love that event. I should have waited to integrate this land before I did that, though. That was silly. Could have gotten it with more nations. Good. Only Sadia and Koch, and Sadia won't exist, so that's good. Dali are about to be very unhappy with me. That's okay. My uh, overextension is about to be very unhappy with me. There's a lot of things about my country about to be very unhappy with me. So let's get coring while we can. Wow, I actually don't have the admin to do it. I'm going to have a lot of rebel stomping duty to do here. So, Dali, my good friend. No? Hisweni, my good friend. Friend? Won't anybody be Money Poor's friend? You forgot to improve relations with Koch. I knew that would never happen. I mean, it could, but did I care? I did not. Okay, so Hisweni don't like me. They really don't like me. And I think they broke our alliance, our royal marriage. Seems strange that I'm not getting pop-ups in that anymore, so let's have a look at the message settings. When a nation breaks a royal marriage they had with us is meant to be up there. I don't care about entering, but I like to know about breaking. Yeah, it's meant to show up. Maybe the cheetahs, they just autom automatically break it, which is strange. But I still have royal ties, royal ties with Dali, much as they hate me. And I could be drinking power projection if I'd remembered that. Alright. We're fragile here. Got it where it counts. Yeah, I am going to call you Marvin.
Alright, aggressive expansion isn't so bad. You don't get increased aggressive expansion on very hard anymore, thank god for that. But now I have a whole lot of revolting and fairly useless territory. I don't like that. And a lot of it is... Well, two of it. One was part of my culture. Damn it, I have no friends! Ava even allied Dali, and they're gonna want to sandwich me. I really, really want to be Dali's friend. But apparently my army is just so weak. Opinion is good, but nobody likes uh, people of other religious groups. I still have to save the people in Kale. Yeah, I really don't think that's going to happen. Ava are closer than ever at wanting that marriage with me, though. Maybe I should ally you. I mean, it's just good to have somebody that's going to be my friend. Hisweni has gone hostile. Friend. I mean, we did ease all those tensions, you know. Alright, how are we looking on those revolts? 8, 12, 12, 8. And they're going to happen. Fortunately, I have my uh, subject who no longer wants to attach to me. You know, maybe I should annex him. He's been sitting around for too long doing a whole load of not much. The issue is that his land is still uh, nasty. And also... Hmm, those are just peasants. That's nothing to be worried about. He does contribute to an army. I think those 2,000 did make that war a lot easier. Oh, oh no, oh no. Dali want me dead. I'm starting to think that focusing on military is where I should be going just to uh, pump that Miltech high enough to take on my enemies. Damn it, Ava, be my friend. I don't care about taking the Kale anymore. Swenny want me dead, Dali will very soon want me dead, Calm don't care about me, Nepal want me dead, Bengal are one of the only people that like me and they don't want to be my friend, because I have no navy strength. Hmm. We always have a use for strategies. Expand the war council, my queen. I think I'm going to want that unrest reduced right about now. At least I'm big enough to almost not die in one hit. If I integrated my subject, I'd help with that, but that would lower my um, diplomatic reputation even further. I mean, I could bribe Ava into being my friend. Would be expensive, but what isn't in this world? Hmong Yang separatists wouldn't travel, sadly. Sedean tra wouldn't travel, and the Dali ones would be even worse. At least I have a fort now, but I'm wondering if that's even worth my time. It does protect me, kind of. I mean, they can still go around like this. Yeah, that's good enough to have. Even if I don't make money. Can't afford advisors. Can't afford a damn thing. Force them, it went up a touch. Puff out that chest, even if we don't have the money to do so. Jake is a dip rep guy available. Dip rep guy, I believe, increases the likelihood for an alliance by five. So, yes, that's a possibility. Perhaps we can get it with just dip rep guy and. Uh, why level two? I don't want to spend 67 ducats on an Avon alliance. Dally just hate me so much. Could someone please not hate me? I mean, I'm desperate. I'll take anyone here. Even an OPM can field like 8 to 10 units. That's useful. I mean, Calm hate Dali. Calm might be able to help us out. Calm also have the military technology of a loaf of bread. So that won't help us out here. Damn it. 
Hmm. Can you reassign your merchants elsewhere to make more money? Uh, I would love to assign them over to Chengdu, but I don't know where Chengdu is. I don't have the range on anywhere else. And I'm pretty much... Okay, Kashar clearly don't like us. He's a babbling buffoon, though. Improve those relations, be ready to get some friendship going. Jake, why are there level 2 advisors if you don't have stable income of 10 plus at the start? I think everybody gets at least one. Everyone gets one level 2 advisor at the start. Not everyone can afford them, but you can, of course, just punch the money out of people around you. You get one ducat, after all. Touch more and you can afford the four. I won't be affording Jack as uh, money pure, though. I have threats all over me. And they're both militarist. But Hisweni doesn't hate me. Hisweni hates Dali. Hisweni has tech 4, so does Dali. Man, I miss Ming already. Ming wasn't scary. It's not inconceivable that if Dali declare war on me, Hisweni will defend me. That's all the more reason I need Ava on my side. If Hisweni declare war on me, then... Dali and Ava would likely come to crush them. So, the key point here is that I need Ava by my side. Even if it's going to cost me 67 ducats plus tip. As soon as that thing doesn't say minus 5, we're good. Why does he not trust me? What have I done to uh, make Ava not trust me, I wonder? Oh well, that's neither here nor there. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All that did was undo some of the stuff I had from, um... Lack of legitimacy. Actually, why is my legitimacy tanking anyway? Is that all these royal marriages I signed? Most likely. Well, goodbye, money. Yeah, a lot of people hate Dali, and that's my hope. But if I don't have money, then... Sh shoot. So close. I was so close to having that Ava alliance. Glad I had my fort active at least, but uh, I had a canner coming on in. I need some uh, heavy backup, and I need it now. Well, you're fired. Maybe he doesn't trust you because you made him a rival. I didn't rival. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right, I did, and then I lost it. I even had a mission on them. Damn. Okay. It's not unwinnable, but it isn't good. Twelve thousand against twenty-six thousand. It more than doubles my force, and that's counting Kashar's Tech Three stuff, which you really shouldn't. So, okay, Arakan are hated by Ava. They may or may not get access through Lana. Bengal love me. Why would they give them access, you know? If I just had a touch of money, I might be able to afford some good old condottieri. Might just be able to afford some condottieri. I don't think Dali's going to offer it. I mean, enemies of Hisweni would, Lana, Ava, and Dali, but probably not if they hate my guts. I can't attack into this jungle and hope to win. Damn it, I was so close to an alliance with Ava! If I'd had that, then Hisweni would be, um, well, maybe not history, but a little easier to curb a stomp. Curiously, what do you want? Just two provinces... Oh, no, you want more than that. Two provinces, money, and I have to release both Assam and Sadia. 